Hello everyone and welcome to this PV Tech Tech Talk product series webinar. My name is Liam Stoker, I'm the Editor-in-Chief at PV Tech and joining us today is the major solar module manufacturer Talisun. We will be discussing the topic of which solar modules make your best-in-class selection for utility scale PV power plants. As per usual, today's presentation will be followed by a question and answer session of around 10 minutes in length. Um, so please use the questions section um, to submit yours throughout the presentation um, and we'll aim to get through as many of those as we can this afternoon. Speaking today is Talisun's technical expert, Francesco Luisa. Francesco is Talisun's European and US module support manager and he's bringing more than 15 years of experience in the field to the table today. So I'm sure we'll be able to get through uh, plenty of technical detail, um, but without further delay, I'll hand over to Francesco to, uh, to begin today's presentation. Thank you, Liam, and welcome everyone. I want to thank you all the PV Tech staff in supporting us in planning this webinar for today. Uh, I'm really uh, happy to, to have all of you uh, today in order to show you all the uh, latest sales and uh, uh, achievements in terms of product performance and new uh, production for the for the next years. I'm Francesco Liuzza, senior technical manager for Suzu Telsan Solar Technologies, and uh, we will talk about uh, um, Telsan new products uh, in the next minutes. So our presentation is uh, divided in four sections. I will start with the company profile introduction, then with capacity and roadmap forecast, uh, again with the product series uh, details and uh, product performance uh, um, features for uh, your uh, projects and utility scales uh, systems. So what about Taysan? Taysan uh, is one uh, uh, of the biggest world leading PV models manufacturers. Uh, it was established in 2010 and belongs to Zongli Group in China, one of the biggest uh, uh, company for uh, cabling uh, and uh, optical fiber. Uh, Taysan started uh, 11 years ago and um, after uh, this uh, long experience, uh, we achieved uh, very impressive uh, results. So we uh, delivered more than 20 giga modules uh, cumulative shipments in the last 11 years. Uh, we were listed as, as top 10 models shipment worldwide in 2019. We are working now with uh, four uh, factories, uh, um, China and Thailand, and we can count on a very uh, consistent uh, R&D department with more than 350 members, uh, more than 340 uh, patents applied uh, with a total investment of $300 million. Uh, we are listed as top 50 uh, global new energy enterprises in China um, and top 10 production capacity globally uh, SPV uh, models manufacturers. Uh, we are also listed in the Bloomberg ranking tier one and uh, we hope to uh, to stay in this market uh, in the next years uh, with uh, our latest uh, um, products that I will show you uh, in the details. We are uh, working in a very uh, globalized operational um, organization. Uh, we are based in China, in Changsu, for the headquarter and first uh, uh, factory um, uh, that started the production in 2011. Then we opened uh, the second factory in Thailand in 2015 when we commissioned at the beginning of this year the third factory in Shandong. Uh, now we are working on a new project uh, in, uh, for the, the fourth factory uh, in order to increase the total capacity and our branches and sales office are spread all over the, the globe. Uh, so basically uh, Japan, uh, Europe, India, uh, Brazil, uh, US and sales offices uh, practically everywhere. So feel free to contact wherever you, you are. Uh, so let's talk about our capacity and roadmap. Um, our factories are uh, based uh, in China and Thailand. So our global uh, capacity with the three factories in, uh, in China uh, can reach an annual production of 10.7 giga of uh, PV cells and up to 11 giga of PV models. And we improved the last year in order to uh, be able to produce the 
the latest, uh, um, the latest uh, bigger uh, models, uh, the, the, the equipments in Thailand, in order to supply uh, all the overseas markets, especially the US market. And we are able now to uh, produce more than two giga of premium models uh, in, uh, per year in, in Thailand. Um, recently, uh, last week, our president, Mr. Dong, announced that uh, Taysan is planning to uh, achieve uh, a target uh, of uh, um, 15 uh, giga by the end of this year. Uh, our uh, technology and uh, our R&D the, the department is uh, uh, putting um, efforts in increasing uh, sales technology and sales efficiency. Uh, our production is uh, mainly based on monopair production. Uh, we already achieved a record of the 23.5 percent for sales efficiency monopair technology, and we are working also on high efficiency uh, programs in order to include the different technologies like the ether junction. You can see here the uh, the forecast for the next three years for the monopair and ether junction um, sales technology um, efficiency roadmap, and we are also working uh, on end type. So by the end of this year we should be able to uh, to add the one giga capacity of high efficiency cells so if we report um, the the cell efficiency results to our models technology roadmap uh, starting uh, from uh, the the latest uh, uh, production of last year uh, to, of 2020 uh, we are still producing the 158 millimeter series models and we will still produce them up uh, I, 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 until the end of 2021. Um, then we added the last year the 166 millimeter production and uh, this year we started with the 182 millimeter uh, production uh, up to 590 watts. Uh, we are also working and we are in the um, certification process. Uh, we will complete this uh, this um, new project for the two uh, 10 millimeter series uh, um, by the end of uh, July, and uh, the first 210 production will start uh, in Q4 2021 in the new factory in Sukyan. Uh, so basically, we are working on a uh, forecast uh, for the next three years uh, to, in order to reach uh, uh, an higher peak power close to 700 watts. But right now, we are able to deliver and produce the models up to 590, and soon by this, by the end of this year, uh, up to 660. Let's have a look of, uh, about our product series. Um, so our uh, production lines are based uh, on two uh, series, monofacial models called uh, commercially Bystar and bifacial models call, called Bipro. Uh, you can see here, um, according to the different cell sizes, uh, starting from the, the smaller 158 millimeters, so then 166, 182, and 210, uh, we are uh, using the most reliable technologies uh, in the market, uh, uh, starting from uh, the half cut uh, non-destructive uh, uh, technology um, uh, at low temperature, uh, multi-bus bars uh, uh, start uh, starting from nine bus bar up to 12 uh, circular uh, bus bar uh, for all our series. And uh, we can uh, uh, reach by the end of this year a peak power of six, 660 watts, divided in monofacial and bifacial series. So closely to the uh, to the specifics uh, um, to and features of models, uh, here you have an overview of the 166, uh, starting from the left, 182 and 210 um, products with the serial uh, code names, uh, peak power starting from the, the smaller 60 cells. Uh, um, uh, suitable for uh, commercial and residential uh, rooftop applications uh, up to the bigger uh, 210 660 monofacial uh, here you can have also have a look at the dimensions and proportion on uh, of technologies in the different cell size models uh, versions and same thing here for the bipro bifacial models um, we uh, we are working on the same uh, selection of uh, peak powers uh, with the different cell sides uh, 166 182 uh, 210 
I did a summary here with, uh, with the, all the uh, serious features, the main uh, technical specification in order to give you an, uh, a better, clear idea of our production. So from the left, monofacial, on the right, bifacial uh, models uh, with different cells quantity, uh, peak power uh, model size, and um, all the, uh, the production starting from the 182 millimeter series uh, reached uh, uh, and uh, models efficiency uh, higher than 21%. So we are very proud of that. We are also working in improving uh, the models efficiency in reducing uh, the, the cell gapping uh, and increasing, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, the sales efficiency. And uh, regarding the, the bigger models, so we are uh, starting uh, uh, in uh, incorporating with uh, some um, inverters company in order to validate uh, uh, all the high current uh, uh, bigger models 210 uh, and be ready for the for the future uh, design uh, for the for the bigger projects uh, r d department is also working in uh, improving the container number pieces uh, uh, in keeping uh, uh, the safety in transportation and in order to reduce the transportation cost that uh, now are very it's a very sensitive uh, item during this uh, this last month uh, uh, after the covid epidemic so uh, regarding the bifacial models uh, we started our experience 3 years ago with a 156 and 158 millimeter series uh, with a double experience. We started a, a production with a, a monofacial, sorry, bifacial with a transparent back sheet and double glass uh, uh, bifacial models, uh, starting from the previous experience uh, based on double glass for all cells uh, monofacials. Um, but uh, um, at the end of this experience, uh, we moved all the production to the glass glass technology because we believe that uh, um, glass glass technology is more reliable than um, the transparent back sheet technology. Uh, basically, on because glass is an inorganic material that can add reliability to the to the production. Uh, that's why we um, we enlarge our warranty up to 30 years of lifetime uh, power uh, power um, performance uh, warranty and with a lower uh, annual power decline uh, um, lower than 0 0.45. A glass glass models uh, give better PID resistance uh, proved by uh, special test uh, with uh, an exposure uh, up to 600 hours uh, uh, with a um, power loss lower than 2%. Uh, give uh, the, the, the glass glass uh, add also more mechanical resistance uh, and uh, prevent micro cracks. And we can also work on special customized project with frameless uh, um, bifacial models uh, in order to uh, adopt the self-cleaning property of glasses uh, and uh, increase uh, power generation. Uh, glass glass models are suitable for floating system, agriculture application, and we are working closely with many APCs uh, in uh, Europe uh, and US uh, and also in China in order to uh, customize special, special projects for uh, agriculture and uh, recently also for floating projects and building integrated uh, solutions. Let's have a look at uh, our product performance uh, and uh, reliability. Uh, Tailsun uh, can count, uh, as I told you before, on a very consistent R&D department. Uh, we can count on an internal uh, certified, uh, certified lab uh, according to the ISO 17025 in Chansu, uh, 5,000 square meters of uh, uh, laboratory uh, where we we can perform internal testing in order to exceed industry certification standards. Uh, R&D is also working in reducing uh, temperature coefficients uh, and increase higher uh, power generation. Uh, all our models are, are tested twice for anti-PID effect. And at the end of 2000. 
2020, so starting from uh, August, September 2020, we adopt the new technology of the gallium dot cell generation. Uh, this was a very important uh, uh, improvement for for us for the uh, for the te technology itself because it can reduce uh, the um, the effect of the light induced degradation and the light uh, elevated temperature induced degradation. All our products are certified by uh, the main uh, certifying company like TUV Sud, TUV Rayland, UL, and Decra. So this latest improvement uh, gave us the chance to uh, increase and enlarge our warranties for um, for customers. So our uh, monofacial production by Star can count on a 12 years product warranty and 25 years uh, uh, performance warranty with a first year degradation less than 2% and an annual degradation lower than 0.55%. Uh, by pro and by facial models uh, um, uh, is um, uh, can count on a lo on a longer uh, product uh, uh, sorry performance warranty uh, guarantee up to 30 years uh, with a better uh, annual degradation lower than 0 0.45 uh, this results uh, and these uh, uh, numbers uh, can be explained by the adoption of the gallium dot technology and all the um, the the reliability of these uh, values are based on uh, recent uh, uh, reliability tests and third part uh, reports made by QV Sud and DECRA um, according to the, to the latest production uh, 182 millimeters uh, with gallium dop generation cells. So uh, from the past, we saw that uh, the application of the gallium dot can uh, reduce the LID effect uh, from an average value of around 2 to 0.5 percent of degradation uh, to a value lower than 1.5 percent. But after uh, our internal improvement and uh, after uh, the third part reports, uh, we got impressive results regarding the light induced degradation according to the IC. 61 to, to 15. Um, so here you can see the results for our monofacial 535 watts with a LID degradation lower than 0.3% uh, and for the bifacial version uh, 535 watts too uh, with a front and rear degradation uh, LID degradation lower than 0.5%. These are important numbers because all our um, features and specification uh, are certified, but are, are also um, validated uh, in, in terms of PAM files. That's why we are able to, uh, to release uh, um, validated and certified uh, by third part lab PAM files uh, suitable for your PV uh, system simulations. And we can support, uh, support you during the uh, the designing so um, the design process so feel free to contact us after this uh, webinar and, uh, and and work together in order to to let your project more reliable let's have a look also at the third part uh, light elevated temperature induced uh, degradation performance uh, made by DECRA uh, with uh, our highest uh, peak power 519, 585 uh, uh, by facial. You can see that the LETID degradation uh, for the monofacial is lower than 0.4% and uh, for the bifacial lower than 0.8%. Regarding the PAM file qualification, we are also working hard in order to uh, reduce the reflection, the light reflection losses on modus. So all our production uh, is uh, produced uh, on uh, anti-reflective uh, uh, coated glasses. And after uh, internal improvements, uh, we, we reach a very in, important uh, incident angle modifier um, distribution that you can uh, see in the slide in order to reduce the light reflection uh, losses. 
all these advantages combined in order to give you um, a customer, uh, give a customer perspective uh, uh, in terms of cost. Uh, so in terms of uh, uh, balance of systems, uh, uh, system and levelized cost of energy, um, we are working hard in order to validate uh, all the improvements in these uh, models. Uh, I pick power and dimension uh, mo mo modifications. And uh, here you have uh, an idea of what uh, um, on a simulation did on a project 100 mega based in, in Suzu made with the uh, models of one, 158 millimeters uh, uh, models compared to the bigger models 166 and 182, 72 and 78 cells of cut. So according to the um, PV balance of system categories, uh, um, we are working hard in order to validate uh, this simulation and we can work also with you in order to, to share these results. Um, and so according to all the components and categories uh, like such as cabling, uh, DC and IC side, uh, models transportation packaging, uh, st uh, st structures, fixed structure trackers, uh, transportation level cost and land we combine all these values and uh, in, on this simulation you can see that the balance of system uh, can be reduced uh, significantly um, applying the the bigger models dimension 182 uh, with a very impressive uh, uh, degradation on terms of cost uh, and the same for the levelized cost of energy uh, with a reduction uh, close to 2.1 2.5 percent um, so why choose Taysan? Um, so the, our key points are mainly based on our global network. Taysan can provide services uh, and support all over the world in more than 50 countries. Uh, we are one of the top 10 global PV manufacturers and listed in Taiwan. So uh, always open to uh, innovation and uh, um, so and based uh, and based on uh, good bankability and long-term cooperation with the major world, uh, world major banks. Uh, we are also open to uh, customized projects for smart solar energy solutions, such as uh, frameless models, uh, agriculture application with, uh, with space cells uh, for agriculture. So feel free to contact us after, uh, uh, after this webinar. We are also working hard in order to validate all our bigger models, uh, uh, 182 and 210, together with the uh, Tracker Systems Company. We already started the cooperation uh, with Array, Next Tracker, Soltech, uh, uh, and we are continuing this process because it's very long and we need to um, uh, to compare all the, our uh, simulation and data with the, the tracker system comes in order, in order to give you more, more data uh, and uh, reliability on, uh, on, on your projects. Uh, that's why we can count on our consistently high R&D expenditure um, uh, based on the support innovation and technology uh, technological developments. So thank you for, for your attention. Uh, I think that I gave you uh, an overview of uh, what Tesan is doing uh, uh, right now and what we are planning for the next uh, two, three years. Uh, so we came from a very long story uh, and experience in the last 11 years. So feel uh, feel free to work with us. So now Excellent. we can start with the question and answers uh, section. And uh, if, we, if you have, uh, we have no time to answer here, we will uh, contact you later. Thank you, Liam. Indeed, thank you very much, uh, Francesco. Um, now is the time for uh, the Q&A section of, of today's Tech Talk webinar. Um, they have been coming in thick and fast, so um, I'll, I'll kick off with, with a few that we've been submitted. Um, Francesco, when it comes to the use of, of gallium doping, uh, I know you kind of touched on this um, in the presentation, why has, has that kind of approach been selected and what are the, what are the key kind of benefits uh, when it comes to um, efficiency? Yeah, uh, we uh, started with the monoperc uh, uh, application with boron uh, boron doped uh, cells, uh, and after um, several improvements on uh, uh, boron recombination with oxygen, um, the, the standard uh, moved to a, a more stable uh, and more reliable technology like the gallium doped. So the gallium basically cannot. Uh, 
combinate with oxygen uh, because the combination between uh, um, previously between boron and oxygen uh, create a degradation on, on cells efficiency. Uh, that's why in the past uh, um, we applied the, the, uh, the so-called uh, CID method, carrying inactive uh, uh, recombination. Uh, that is a method to, uh, to put in order to put uh, hydrogen uh, and to, to, to create a, a stable recombination uh, and more stable effect. But the result of the uh, CID method uh, was less effective than the gallium dop uh, technology itself. And also, gallium dop cells uh, can add 0 0.1, 0 0.15 percent uh, more uh, efficiency on, on cells. So it's a double uh, thing. So less uh, light induced degradation, uh, higher efficiency, and better reliability for. Uh, for, for the production. Great stuff. Um, I'm, go I'm going to try and capture a few questions uh, in one here, um, just looking at what's, what's been submitted, but I was wondering if you could perhaps provide a bit more detail around the impact of, of these kind of large format modules on the balance of system costs for, for projects going forward. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not an easy uh, answer for the balance of systems. Uh, we worked hard in the last month uh, in order to evaluate all the categories uh, that uh, can impact uh, the balance of systems, starting from uh, um, different configurations in, uh, in, uh, in strings, uh, so the DC side, AC side for, for cabling different mounting system so we are able to uh, to share uh, with customer detailed report uh, about this calculation um, in order to to a, maybe a, a direct talk uh, and go through this this point so it's sure that uh, um, bigger models uh, is uh, reducing uh, a lot the, the balance of systems uh, but balance of system itself is divided in several categories and uh, the effect is more uh, related to uh, to the structures to the transportation costs to the labor uh, and to the cabling of the um, of the strings Excellent. Um, and I know, Francesco, this is something that you, that you touched on quite briefly towards the end of your presentation there. I was wondering if you had in more detail around um, Talisman's collaboration with other component manufacturers, whether it's trackers, inverters, um, or kind of others, um, just to kind of tackle some of the issues that we see affecting large-scale solar deployment at the moment. Yeah, it's a very sensitive point uh, because uh, mm, I think in, in the past, since the uh, the starting uh, of the production of the 182, we we, we were working uh, on uh, smaller sides, so models that can be um, easily uh, installed in tracker system, for example, with mounting holes uh, at the center uh, with the 400 millimeters uh, um, spacing holes. Uh, but for for bigger models, uh, uh, there is the the need to to go through the the right mechanical uh, load calculations uh, and in order to uh, to evaluate the safety factor of the of the of models and approve and validate all the maximum load that we can guarantee. Um, that's why we are. Uh, we have started the, the cooperation with the, some trackers systems company and also fixed the uh, system companies and we will continue this process. So if uh, someone from the uh, mounting system and racking system um, is on, on, the, on this webinar, uh, I hope to, to have some call together with uh, some technical representative together with our technical department in China. Uh, so we will uh, try to uh, combine all the information that come from China, Europe and US that are the main, uh, the most active uh, markets right now, especially for, uh, for the tracker systems. Okay, um, we, we have time for kind of one or two extra questions, I guess. Um, I'll, I'll yeah. just kind of pick one from, uh, from the list in front of me, but um, Francesco, what kind of testing has been accomplished to verify the, the efficiencies that have been associated with bifacial modules that, that you've kind of shared today? 
Yeah, we are still working with the with the IEC standards, uh, um, but we are waiting also the application of the new standards, uh, the two, 2021 IEC for the bifacial. Uh, so our nameplates report uh, the the bifacial STC conditions um, as the the. The, the the first version uh, uh, of the IEC. Uh, so we will also update all the information uh, once the, um, the the regulation will be completely ready. Uh, but basically, uh, our calculation um, uh, are based on a double uh, check. Um, so on a full um, calculation of the bifaciality factor, uh, calculating the STC condition of the rear side, and also uh, the, the bifacial STC condition applying a lower uh, irradiation on the rear side up to 135 watts per meter square. Uh, that is a standard that uh, now is uh, going uh, uh, on uh, for the for the new IC regulation. So I hope that uh, all these data will be clear for the market because now uh, we are designing projects with bifacial models more and more and uh, uh, for the next uh, two, three years, the, the percent, the rate of monofacial and bifacial will be quite the same in, uh, I think in two years. Um, so it's important to uh, calculate all the electrical part of the plants, uh, taking account uh, the, the real gain of the bifacial models uh, in different condition and uh, with the right STC uh, and declared condition in the nameplate of the models and certifications. Okay, perfect. Um, unfortunately, I think that's all, all we have time for this afternoon. Um, I, I know there's been quite a few questions that we haven't got around to, to answering, um, but rest assured, um, if, you haven't, if you have been able to provide your details, and um, then we will endeavour to get kind of um, answers over to you. Um, and of course, the presentation today will be available to uh, view on demand via um, PV Tech shortly. Um, all that's left for me to say um, is thank you again to, to Talasan and Francesco for the presentation. Um, I hope all of our attendees found it as, uh, as interesting, um, certainly as I did. Um, and indeed to all of our attendees for joining us today. Um, I'm sure we'll see you again at a future PV Tech Tech Talk product series webinar in the future. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. I hope to see you in person soon in some uh, exhibition altogether. Bye-bye and let's keep in touch.